going to uh, clean up the engine base some more. I'm going to take like the heat shield carpet stuff off and clean up all behind that and all in the, this area and under the scuttle. Get that cleaned up to shiny. I got that bit off. It was great fun. But it doesn't actually seem too bad in behind it. Just a little bit of touching up. Right, here's where I'm up to with the sanding. I've got this bit, well, I didn't come with an engine mount, I suppose, gearbox mount, whatever. I've got that shiny, I've got this back bit. But to do that, I've had to disconnect some bits and bobs. So I'm just going to. Rush treat this uh, two or three times and give it a coat of primer and then I can put those bits and bobs back on just so I don't lose track of where these bits and bobs go. There's that bit with the first coat of rust treatment. I will probably end up giving it two or three. Right, that's that area. I had it three coats of rust treatment now there as well. Um, as far into there as I could get just now. Going to go ahead and give that a coat of zinc primer. Um, didn't really see the point in getting in here and doing all this bit because it so I've just left that for now. Don't know whether I change that or what or don't fix it till it's broken I suppose. Eh? Um, I burnt my hand at my work, it's a bit of a peach, and um, so I'm trying not to get the wee bit, just a wee one there as well, so I'm trying not to get that dirty or that, well too bad, still not going to wear gloves. Um, I'm going to clean this wee bit up, in there, I'm going to clean up, and then gloss treat it. There's that bit, I had a couple of coats of zinc primer now. Right, Gary Lato in the comments asked me to um, show him what finger sanders I use. Um, and here we are. Um, this one is a... I'm going to turn that light off now. A silver line, can't really see that. Anyway, it is a silver line. Um, this is my, oh, I can't mind if it's my second, or, I think it's my second one of them. The first one, I burnt out the bearing on the end, but it's just a case of uh, hammering out that rivet and swap, swapping the bearing. And it's easy fixable for, and you get the bearings off eBay for a pound fifty or something. So, easy fixed. It works on a... You push it in, and it's like on a. I'm trying to bust my blister. Anyway, you push it in, and it pops on a release system. Um, the one, the reason I like this one is the angle on it is adjustable, as you can see. So that helps you get into the nooks and crannies, and it's thin. So that also helps get into the nooks and crannies. Whereas my other one is a Black & Decker, a power file I think it's called, and as you can see, it's not so thin. It's got this massive motor on the side, but it's like way more powerful than the silver line one. Um, it's decent as well. I try and I just float between the both of them, what I use, just what I could get in with and what I need it for, but that's what I use. The good thing about this one is you can buy it from B&Q. Um, it's about 50 to 60 quid, depending on where you buy it, but you get it for B&Q and that, and the good place, the thing about places like that is you could take it back easy if it breaks, whereas the Silverline one, you can only really get on eBay and places like that. 
and it's not so easy to send back if it breaks. Um, you can send them back, but you've got to send back the whole thing and that. So, and these are about 35, 40 pound, 45 pound. So what's the point in paying all that postage? Just or can what I mean? So that's that. So I'm going to keep sanding. Here I've got <clears throat> all the bits that were rusty. I'm giving a blast with a finger sander. Obviously some of these bits are really hard to get in. I've done as much as I can. A lot of what you see there is just rust dust, if you like. It is bad to do the level. Just not wiped it off. I'm giving it a wee quick move on. Um, Young Matthew's away at the shop to get green Brillo pads to just give us a bit of a key before I spray it. Again, can only get into so far. So, I'm going to give that some rust treatment now. My uh, blister has popped today. Right, I have cleaned up the inside of the cab. Um, I still have wee welding jobs to do here. This is where the kind of mind the jacking point goes, I think. Um, again, a wee patch here, but I'm not concerned about that just now. All I'm going to do is like in here where I've tidied up that likes it in there, but it's all still rusty. Now I'm going to clean all that up. Um, and treat it so I could uh, spray the inside of the bulkhead. Alright, I've got that area, all the wee rusty bits cleaned up, so I'm going to go ahead and give that some rust treatment there. That's all had the first coat of the rust treatment. There is my burn after six days. Right, I've been doing some more happy sanding, getting it back to well, getting rid of rust really. I've left this side for now because it's still holding this up. Um, once I've uh, painted that bit, I'll remove that and do this side of it. Um, again, let's move right along the scuttle now, all the rusty bits that I could get to. Um, just can't get into here. Got as much as I can, but with the windy wiper mechanism and that in the way, I can't get to it, and I'm not really into taking all that out just now, so... I'm just going to rust treat this little tiny four inch bit, so I think I'm allowed that as a kind of pass. Right, that's the footwell area, and right up in there, I've had three coats of the rust treatment now. That's these bits had, and right up under the scuttle. That's all had two coats now. Just another one to go on once this one's dry. Um, a wee bit of more paint prep to do there. Um, I'm going to fix this hole here, which means I've got to do a wee bit of work in the arch. So I'm going to get on and do that now. That's basically how it was left. It was a tire. So there's that hole there. That's this rusty weld that I've made. Obviously the paint's not taken all the weld. But I'll get all that cleaned up. Also, while I'm in here, um, so I'm going to fix this hole, which will lead me into fixing this bit here while I'm at it as well. So I'm just going to go on and do that. 
Uh, I got that patch welded in and cleaned up and all the rest of that. Um, I'm just going to get a coat of paint and then carry on with this bit, I think. Right, I've got this little patch made up. Yeah, I still have to clean it up. <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to clean this up and then I'll clean the surround in and then I'll weld it in. And I'll leave this bit just now to all that's welded in before I fold it over, I think. Just to try and get the curve. Right, I have that piece clamped in. As you can see, it's got the curve to it. Right, there's that tacked in. Again, I'm just going to weld all the way around before I do this edge. I want to try and keep the curve to it. Alright, there's that bit welded in. Um, I'm going to fold this corner around now. Um, trying to keep the curve in it. I don't know if you can see the curve. Yes, that's better. So I'm trying to keep that curve in it. Which I think the best way to do that is I've got this dolly. So I'll just put this in here like that. And kind of follow it around. Hitting it with a hammer, obviously. And that should form it around and keep the curve, I'm hoping. Just gentle taps. So I had to grind the weld back here, or that would never have folded around with a weld on the top of it there. So I'm going to do that. There I have it folded over now. That looks alright. So there's a little bit of an overlap here. So I'm going to trim that then weld it. And the same there look. So I'm going to trim that and then weld it a bit. I don't think that's too bad. Can't even remind, remember if this is a bit that I made or not. For the feel of it, it might be. No, I think that's a re replacement panel part. So we'll get on with that now. And there's that bit all welded up and cleaned up. So I'm going to get some paint on that now and I'll tidy up this edge. That's this area had its three coats of rust treatment now. So I'm going to get that with um, some zinc primer. And there's that bit painted. See that looks pretty good. The paint's still drying obviously, but I'm happy with that. That's three coats of the rust treatment in there as well, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, spray that now. Right, I've been doing a little bit more work off camera. I um, don't know if that was deliberate or not. Um, basically, I've been taping up everything in preparation for painting the engine bay. Um, I've got most of the prep work done. Um, everything's had a couple of coats of zinc primer. Um, I kind of should have done cataloy first, but I'm going to do cataloy after that. Um, or I don't actually know that. Um, I've never used cataloy before in my life, so this will be a first for me. I don't know if you meant to do it before primer, after primer, what. I'm just doing it this way because that's how I am rolling. So I've got it pretty much into all the nooks and crannies I could get into. Um, so I should be able to paint it. I have chosen a colour. I've had it for a few weeks now. Just been keeping it quiet. So I'm going to get this engine bay done. Um, 
I'm going to try and, um, like I say, cataloy uh, at first and see how I get on with that. There's the filler I'm using. Um, <clears throat> gets quite good reviews, like I say, I don't know anything about that. Um, Kev says I have to make it up a bit of golf ball size to a P. So I'm going to do that just now. And uh, so there is my first ever go at cataloging. Obviously, I've not sanded it yet. Don't even know if I need to do this. <clears throat> Probably not as an engine bay at the end of the day. To be honest, it's just to give me practice using it for a duel on the van. And uh, it seems all right stuff to work with. So I'm gonna get this, let it dry and then get this sanded now. Right, I've not sanded the back yet. I've sanded this part of it here. Um, it's a bit harder going than I thought it would be. Um, it's bearable though. Um, I'm not looking for perfection. This is an engine base. I'm only going to give it one kind of skim, I think. Um, quite happy with that. Coming out alright. Um, I'm going to stop the video here because it's about 15 minutes long as it is. And all this prep is going to take me longer than I think. So it'll be next week before I'm probably putting any paint on this now. Um, we're on Monday just now. Um, so I'm going to aim to get paint on it by next week and end this video here as regards to the prep. Thanks for watching.